Obviously, first day of practice, uh, year two for you guys under uh, or with, with your coaching staff. Just how excited are you guys to be back and, and officially getting things going? I know you've been going all summer, but but it's got to feel good to, to have things officially starting. Yeah, for sure. You know, with our, our schedule, we pretty much train all year round, but today just signifies that we're going to take it up a notch. Uh, we talk to the girls a lot about taking care of their bodies, and now that we're in season, that means we're up to 20 hours a week. So, you know, taking care of their bodies is a huge priority, and it becomes a bigger priority this week. But you also see the intensity intensity go up in the gym. We had a lot of fun competing today, um, had a team picture right before, got them all excited with their uniforms on, and, and then had a really good practice. So I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, how this summer and fall, all the hard work they've put in, it pays off because we had such a good summer of workouts and such a good fall of workouts. So season's here now, and it's exciting to see where it goes. Just knowing that you have a lot of the roster back from last year uh, and setting those expectations from last season, you know, where do you feel like things are now that, you know, everybody's a little more comfortable with one another heading into year two? Yeah, I think the, the cool thing about this group is it's not just my expectations, it's them putting the expectations on themselves and they want to be great. And, and you saw that this summer. We had three or four kids that absolutely lived in the gym and those were all four returners who kn know our system. They knew what they needed to work on to be better in our systems and you're, you're seeing it in the gym now. It's really paying off. Um, they understand the reads we want to make. They're knocking down shots because they've been living in the gym and um, you know those expe expectations come with a little bit of weight on your shoulders but I think this group wants that and they're ready for that and it's been a long time since we've had those kind of expectations here and it's really exciting. You guys, obviously, uh, you, you can see it out there during this first practice. How big is the the, uh, the three ball and the kind of the running gun offense going to kind of be for you guys coming into this season? Yeah, I think today we, you know, we wanted to work on our half court offense, but it's so unrealistic to just sit there in the half court to run sets. So we try and get a little bit of pace going into our actions and. And Justin, you hit on it. I mean, we, we want to shoot the three. And, uh, you know, we have the players. That was a huge emphasis in recruiting was getting, you know, people that could shoot the three. And now we have the players to do so. And so now it just becomes about taking the right threes, um, living in the gym, you know, having a good rhythm when the game, when the season starts. But um, I think so far our percentages at practice, because we keep, you know, practice stats um, are way higher than last year this time. So that's exciting to see. Hopefully we can stay fresh, stay healthy, and, and continue to knock down shots. Josh touched on obviously a little bit, obviously a lot of girls back from last year, but obviously with girls like Solaire and Shayla and, you know, Riley, girls who have been, you know, in this program for a long time and now under you for a second year, what are you kind of expecting out of those kinds of girls? Yeah, just their leadership. Um, you saw Shay out there. She turned her ankle a couple of days ago, so she's not full go yet, but she's out there coaching. You know, she's telling the players where to be on the sets. Um, she's telling them to box out. She's telling them to go harder. She's holding them accountable. Um, and that was something we struggled with. You know, we have a bunch of really good kids, and sometimes holding each other accountable is a tough thing to learn, but it's what makes us better. And we've gotten a lot better at, you know, th those leadership roles with our upperclassmen especially, and you saw that over the summer and through this fall. Uh, where do you want to kind of see the, the, these girls take that next step in, in year two with you? And I know last year, obviously, you said was a you know big process for you guys and just kind of you know installing and instilling you, you know what you want these girls to to learn and be about. You know what's kind of the next step here for year two? I think the biggest step that you know us as a staff we want our girls to take is to stay hungry. This program hasn't seen a lot of success over the last five to six years, so. I don't want us to get a couple wins in a row and think that we've arrived. We've got a long way to go. I want them to stay hungry, not get complacent, continue to strive to get better as the year goes on, because you'll hear me talk to the girls a lot. It's about March. You know, you're supposed to be playing your best basketball in March. So uh, we're going to have some good games. We're going to have some bad games. But keep getting in the gym, keep getting better every single day so that we can be at our peak, you know, when our conference tournament hits. When it comes to newcomers, probably Sydney is one of the biggest names that comes to mind. What do you hope she can bring to the table this season? Yeah, we've got a couple of newcomers. Sydney obviously brings, uh, you know, a wealth of experience coming from Central Michigan, a championship program. Um, obviously, the Fort Wayne area knows her very well. Um, offensively, she brings us versatility. Uh, she's a very competitive kid. Um, I think that's one, you know, thing that people overlook with her. She's very competitive. She'll dive on the floor. She'll do whatever it takes to win. Um, and just her energy and enthusiasm on a daily on a daily basis has lifted our program. Um, to new heights and you know the other transfer we got Destiny Marshall uh, true point guard has been a huge huge um, just help to our to everything we want to do in this program you know she has the ability to go by she has the ability to knock it down she's our shortest player with our highest vertical touch which is insane you know she's our most athletic kid by far and you know having those two transfers their experience and really their attitudes that they bring every day has been awesome you know to see so far this year.
Health wise, how are you guys feeling? I know obviously Sydney's in the boot and you said Shayla kind of turned her ankle, but everything looking okay? Yeah, I mean, we're banged up for, for September 26, but it's, it's you know, better to have kind of those little small injuries now than later. But, yeah, we've got, you know, a couple rolled ankles, maybe a pulled hamstring. But overall, our, you know, so far we've got, you know, our core is healthy and going to be ready to go when the season starts. Just how does it fit? That's probably part, and that's obviously part of it. But what do you want the identity of this team to be? Yeah, a tough group. We want to be a tough group that plays with pace, plays together. Um, you know, I think something that you saw last year, we lost a lot of close games, and this team, uh, this program is not used to being in close games, and what you saw was a group that never gives up, never folds, and I think that that's going to be our identity this year. Um, you know, last year our, our little hashtag was Grow Dons, continue to grow, and this year they, they, they want to keep it because they know we have a lot of growing to do. Uh, but they also added one of one. They want to be the best version of us all year long, and they know that uh, toughness goes a long way, not giving up, continuing to grind, no matter if we're down 20, up 20, keeping our foot on the, on the gas pedal, and they've kind of embraced that identity so far. Just how are you feeling compared to this time last year, just how comfortable you are and then the team as well? Yeah, no, I think uh, I feel great. I'm, I'm settled, you know. Um, I'm not worried about a new staff. I'm not worried about the whole team learning our system. I think we're in a spot where year two is, is more comfortable. It is typically one of the hardest years in a turnaround process because there's new, new expectations, there's new playing time roles, there's new leadership roles. Um, but in terms of you know, how we feel as a program, I feel like we're in a really good spot to take another huge step forward. Um, I think having these returners that know our system, that have bought into our system, that like our system, um, is going to be a huge help because they're dragging these freshmen and these, and these transfers along, and we need those new pieces because they're very talented. Um, so I feel good about where we're at right now. I'm super excited to get rolling. For the players to take ownership, maybe last year at this time, they're a little less comfortable, but for them to have that year and, and to know you better, just how have you seen them grow into those leadership roles this year? Yeah, for sure. I think last year everyone was hesitant to speak up and take a leadership role, including the juniors and seniors that we had on the team, because they didn't know what we expected or what we wanted in certain situations. And this year they do. And, you know, there's a lot of times where I'll blow the whistle and I'll start to say something and then they'll say it for me. Um, and they'll pull the freshman aside they'll put an arm around them or they'll get on them and hold them accountable but it's been awesome because I think the the player-led programs are the most successful programs out there those are the ones that win championships because um, us coaches can want it all we want but when the players want it in the locker room that that goes a lot further